So much. My friend is watching a interview on Susan Adkins. Okay, she was, uh, yeah, two thousand and two. Now she's watching night was watching nineteen seventy six. I think, which was two years before she was eligible for parole, and it was the year the book Helter Skelter was written by Vincent Bugliosi. I know it's Bugliosi, but it's funny. It looks like, oh my God. Uh, Patricia Kronwinkel is so sexy. I don't care what anyone says. She was the most... Is she in the middle? Yeah, and there she is. There they are with her face. Oh, my God. She was so beautiful. Just lovely. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Patty was so sexy. She was the most beautiful. And... She, she was pretty... But anyway, she's watching interviews on Susan Atkins. But like I said, the first one was like 76, which was the year also Helter Skelter, the movie, was put out. And I'm telling you, the girl who played Patty in that movie, Patty's not a blonde. And they casted a blonde to play her. That's so about as annoying as Faye Dunaway playing Bonnie Parker. Bonnie Parker did not have Faye Dunaway's haircut. Her hair was not straight and blonde. It was like wavy, and it was like a bob cut. And it was like light brown, so, and Warren Beatty was not sexy, Clyde Barrow was sexy, and he was 5'7", not the right, I don't know, oh, I like, I like that one of Charlie's, very cute without a beard, and with, he didn't kill anyone, so I'm, Sharon Tate was beautiful, but she did mostly was, that was, that was really, a big deal mainly because she was an actress. It's strange they didn't care anything about her baby. It's really weird. They say seven people were killed those two nights. Stephen Parent, I'm uh, not going in order, but Stephen Parent was the first, ironically. Um, Stephen Parent, Wojtek Frykowski, um, Sharon Tate, Jay Sebring, Abigail Folger, that was the first night, which no, it wasn't her baby. They left out for all y'all people who don't care about babies. But for all y'all people who don't, yeah, for all y'all people who don't care about babies and don't understand life at conception, get this, yeah, her baby was killed eight and a half months pregnant. I think that's a damn living child. I don't care if it's the first day of pregnancy or the eighth month, ninth month. I don't give a damn. It's still a damn living baby. So count the damn child when you talk about it in your stupid bullshit media murder, murder terror cult. That terror, I can't talk getting pissed at people, judging people for something they didn't do and they feel really bad about. Yeah. Yeah, the way I just ran it, I don't believe in abortion whatsoever unless the per mother and the child is dying. But if you got knocked up and you, and you were stupid enough not to wear a condom, then no, you should. Stupid people. But... She's still watching the interview on Susan Adkins, and they're now saying Charles Manson did not tell them to do that, which is right. He never told anyone to kill anybody. It was Tex Watson who did it, and he actually delivered all the fatal stab wounds. I mean, yes, they did stab Patty, mainly. Most beautiful, you know. But he didn't kill anybody and I forgot what I was completely just forgot what I was saying that's her husband by the way James Whitehouse I think but anyways I forgot what I was saying but she died on September 24th 2009 I was sitting in Barnes and Noble with this piece of shit ex-boyfriend of mine which he was my boyfriend at the time and uh not Barnes and Noble, Borders, and, um, <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot what I was saying, okay, um, but, I was sitting in Borders, and I got a text message from my mom saying Susan Atkins just died, because that's, by that time, I already knew that she had got denied for parole, <laughs> 
sad, really, because she had cancer and she was sorry. But, I mean, but then again on Sharon Tate's family, you know, I'm doing this. I feel the same way if it happened to me, but I don't have any brothers or sisters, so I wouldn't know. And I've never had anyone in my family besides a very distant relative was murdered back in 1974 by Ted Bundy, but I um, found that out recently, and I wasn't around back then, and they're distant by marriage, so I don't know anything about that. I mean, I do. I studied it, but I study about that. I'll get back on that later, but I'm sorry. This piece of skin on my finger is bothering me, but um, I was sitting there, and I looked up at my ex-boyfriend. I was like, Susan Atkins has died, and he smiled and said, cool, and I'm like, that's not funny. He was joking, but it was something like that. He said something like that, and I was like, he probably made a smart-ass comment, but I don't know. I'm going to get on the Ted Bundy victim. She can't forgive Charles Manson, she said. Well, no way. He was still kind of a dick to her. He still messed him up. He wanted him to go to the house anyways. But I don't know. Susan Atkins was really right on. Very beautiful. Patty was very beautiful. There's Krenwinkle right there. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Patty Krenwinkle. Oh my god. I make a video about her and I gotta make a video about Donna Manson. No relation to Charles Manson, I don't think. Possibly to somebody else. I can't remember, but oh, that's the Ted Bundy victim I found I was related to very distantly through John F. Kennedy. Is what I read. If it's true, cool. I, I, I don't. I can't pay for research on stuff like that genealogy because it's expensive and all that, but I get as much as I can and I work through all that with the computer, with the websites and all that to where I don't have to pay. I go the amount I can, you know, through websites and all that without have, until I have to pay and then I quit. But I can still find a lot. That's how I found out I was related to John F. Kennedy without having to pay to find out. He's, of course, I also have a book on my family. Oh my god, she was sexy. I'm telling you. I'm gonna make another video now. Yay!